Alrighty, you guys ready for the final boss fight? Or final story boss fight? Yeah, I don't know. Let's just go ahead. I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore, so... Oh, hey there, Dad. <clears throat> Dad! Hey, kiddo. You've grown. Dad! Thanks for taking care of him, Mega. No sweat! There's so much I want to talk to you about, but it'll have to wait for now. Meteor G is still growing stronger and stronger. I can't hold it back anymore. Let me help, Dad. You'll be deleted if you push yourself any harder. Leave it to me. You've really grown into an upstanding young man. I guess it's time to pass the baton. Mega Man is capable of anything, right? I'm not so sure about that. King! If I cannot have the planet for my own, then I will just have to destroy it. I will become one with this shooting star and rain punishment down on all of you pathetic humans. Farewell, Earth. Farewell, humanity. Your time is up. Meteor G, return to me! This isn't good! Please stop, King! It's too late! Watch in awe as Meteor G and I become one! <laughs> and we became a dragon, damn it! Well, what do you think? I will lead Earth to its destruction. I am Crimson Dragon! What the? Kelvin Stellar, you have been a thorn in my paw for far too long. It is a shame that such great power must go to waste. Which is why I will have your power added to mine. Ah! Dad! Geo, don't worry about me. You've got to stop King and destroy Meteor G. But I can't. I've missed you so much, and now I finally found you. I won't let you go. What did you come all the way here for? To protect those you love, right? There are many people on Earth who you share deep bonds with. And hope. Your mother is there too. You can't let all of them down! They believe in you! You must fight, Mega Man! Dad... Darn it! Kelvin! <sighs> really? I love it when people do that. <laughs> the power is overwhelming! So, Mega Man, what will you do? Are you still going to challenge me, even after I have acquired such power? Kelvin Stellar is now a part of me. Would a nice boy like you harm his own father? K kid Dad told me to fight. If I don't stop you now, then all the sacrifices that everyone has made until now will all have been in vain. Crimson Dragon, for the people that I love, I will defeat you! You won't see the light of tomorrow! You are pitiable indeed. Come then, have a look at the true power of Meteor G. Let's rock, kid! Last battle! Right on! I know, it's your good girl. Yes. 
people are gonna think I'm talking to the final boss like that. I know, I did be. I guess you're a good girl. By the way, if it seems like this is running slower than it should, it's because it is. I don't know why, but the game's actually running pretty sluggish right now. And it's kind of irritating me, but sadly I can't really control that. I forgot about that. No, I want that. I almost fucked myself. Oh, I was about to say, rocket launch! I could have sworn I hit, you know, left, but hey, what, what the hell? I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh wait, I did whoops. I didn't mean to get rid of it, but oh well. Yay! We beat the final foss! Final foss? What the hell? Final foss? Really? Really me? Final boss, sort of. Yeah, I know, you're probably thinking it's like, wow! Technically, we did beat the final boss, though. Why do I say technically? Well, you're gonna see in a second. Ah, uh, this can't be. No. <sighs> Why is Big Ugly still here? We beat King, didn't we? It might be drawing energy from Dad. What should we do? Whoa! It, it's out of control! <sighs> the noise is so strong! We have to fight! We can't lose! Not after all this! I want to go home with Dad. Whoops. Geo! Geo! Ah, oh, goddamn. It feels so freaking awkward because I've got a. I have a canker sore, like, in the very back of my mouth under my tongue. And it's like just. And it's in just the right spot, so I can't even squeeze my finger back there with, like, the antiseptic stuff. So I get to do the fun rinse my mouth out with salt, with, like, you know, water that you mix with salt. It tastes so good. Well, warm water with salt. Anyways, Meteor G has increased noise output levels greatly. What could possibly be going on? Mr. Boreal. Meteor G's noise has grown too powerful for the rocket to handle. All functions have ceased to work. W what did you say? Magnus was able to pulse out in time, but the rocket is steadily moving away from Meteor G. W wait just a second. If the rocket moves too far away, then how will Geo be able to get home? Geo! I believe in him. He's going to destroy Meteor G and bring his father back home. Yeah! He's gotten out of every other pinch that he's been in stuck in before! Been in stuck in? Geo can't lose to something like Noise or Meteor G. Geo never loses! You're right. You guys are right. Geo won't. The invincible Mega Man won't lose to a measly shooting star! Geo, you are our final hope. Kick some butt, Geo! Arthur, 
watch over him. Mega Man. Are you going to give up? I thought that you were going to keep fighting in my place. Ace. <clears throat> Stand up, Mega Man. You have a lot of friends who are waiting for you back on Earth. Believe in yourself, and in what you can do. I mean, you don't think that I'm really done for, do you? So why are you lying on the ground? You can do this. And don't forget, you're the world's greatest hero! <sighs> Thanks, Ace. Besides, I'd be too ashamed to see you again if I were to give up like this. I want to do this. I'm going to do this, Ace. I've still got too much life left inside of me. I'm going to fight to the bitter end! Giving up is not an option! Yeah! Yep, the one scripted moment in the game where we go Black Ace. So what you're saying is, what? You were never able- oh. Oh yeah, I forgot it just jumps right into it. So what you're saying is, you were never able to jump to get a high enough noise level to go black ace yourself? Well, too bad, now you can. Let's see. You can't lose this part. If you do, I'm sorry, but... God, the game is slowing down so much. Why are you doing this game? Holy shit, I have that much noise, and I haven't gotten Black and Galaxy yet. You are lying to me. I'm sorry, this is running so slow right now, I can't do jack. There we go. We win! There we go. It's like I would love to drag it on, but I don't know what my computer is doing right now, so... It, yeah, this fight is literally scripted. You cannot win until you do Black and Galaxy. I would drag it on to level... to 1 HP, but... With... I don't know. It's like I, the first fight I, act, the first form of the fight I actually restarted a few times, because it's like the first few times it was running really bad. I mean, just like, and it's like, I I don't know what's going on. Something's going on with my computer right now, so I don't know. For whatever reason, something in the background when I was checking my CPU usage, with nothing running, it's running at like 50%. So. I'm gonna have to fiddle with things, but sadly I just don't know what it is right now, and yeah. You did it, Geo. Dad! Dad! Don't I make such a convincing, heartwarming moment? It's time for me to destroy Meteor G. This is like the one time I actually wish I had a 3DS capture card. If those stupid things weren't didn't cost 400 fucking dollars, I wouldn't be against it. It's like if there were actually good more than a handful of decent games on the 3 well, good games on the 3DS, I I would be very proactive for it, but honestly, I the 3DS is my least favorite console of anything I've owned so far. I don't know why. Even my Saturn that I Sega Saturn that I have five games on, I enjoy all of them more than anything on the 3DS. 
Yeah, I know I'm, I know I'm going to ruffle someone's feathers by saying this stuff, but it's just what it is. <laughs> Anyways, back to the game. Dad. Mega. <sighs> really, people. Stop it. No one is here. I can't hear anything. This isn't right. If I stay here, I don't think I'll make it. I miss everyone. Should probably get a little closer to the microphone. <clears throat> Geo! Geo, please respond! Darn it, it's not getting through! Even though Meteor G is gone... Geo! Come on, Geo. You promised me that you would come back. Isn't there something we can do, Mr. Boreal? Mr. Boreal! For crying out loud! Isn't there someone that can help him? I'll do anything if someone rescues him! I'll stop eating! I'll study! Whatever it takes! So please! Somebody please help him! Huh? What's that noise? It's from my hunter. Actually, everyone's hunter has received a message. It's not just us. Every person in the whole world has received a direct transmission to their hunter. What's going on? People of Earth! Can you read me? Th that voice! Could it be? Kelvin! Meteor G was destroyed by a young boy who wanted to protect the people that he loved. He always believed in us, and he never gave up. He... Saved us all. However, right now that young boy is alone and lost in space. That boy is... My son. And he means more to me than anything. I want to... Bring him back to all of his friends. Back to his mother. Geo. Calvin! I can't believe it. <laughs> Hope. Geo fought all by himself, risking his life in order to give us a chance to live our own lives to the fullest. I need you all to pray, wish, or picture in your minds that Geo will make it home. As a fellow human being, as a father, I'm begging you all, please. The transmission was cut. Kelvin's right. We can't give up on Geo. You heard the man, people. We're going to do everything that we can to bring Geo back to Earth. All was a staff and Satella police officers. You are to do everything in your power to rescue Geo Stellar from space. I want ideas and strategies immediately. There is only one condition to my orders. Never give up. Now get to work! There has to be something that we can do too! The more peep! I... Oh, one second, guys. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Just had someone who wouldn't stop calling, so figured I'd get it out of the way. Anyways! The more people that work together, the easier miracles are to make! Hello? It's me, the manager of Spickamall. Redirect all of Spickamall's electricity to Waza. That's correct. All of it. I don't care if the system crashes. We must help Waza. Maybe they can use my ultra-high-powered telescope that my daddy bought me. <clears throat> what should we do, sis? 
Let's go to the dealer base. There may be something there that we can use to help. Okay, let's go. You should come with us. Three heads are better than two. <laughs> I suppose. Mega Man and I never did get to finish our fight. If he turns into space dust, I'll never get to make him pay. <laughs> <clears throat> Yummy. Sorry, I know I this. I just like had a Coke, like a Coca Cola, for the first time in a few years, and really thick. Let's show dealer what we at WBG Studios are really made of. If I rework the functions of our transmission satellite, it can show an image of space. Nice. We can search for the boy with that. There's just one more important thing to do, then. There's something that I want to propose to the whole world via television. Belle, would you please present my proposal to everyone for me? Uh, of course, I'm all over it. I would like to use the environmental system's vast amount of data processing power to search for Geo. The weather around the island may grow a bit severe while the normal functions of the environmental system are offline. However, let us all endure for the sake of the boy. We'll do anything for him. Let's find him strong. What the? Oh, it's one of those statue things. Okay. <clears throat> that's... Uh, surprisingly enough, that's supposed to be a dog. Or at least that's what... It's Cybercore translates to. But anyways, I don't care if a typhoon or something else crazy strikes. I'll tough it out if it's from Geo. Thank you, everyone. Let us all make a miracle happen. Yay! Ow, my thumb. Fingers. Chief! What is it? Thanks to the broadcast from WBG Studios, the people of Earth have all set the same purpose. What is the purpose? To bring Geo home. <clears throat> Everyone is doing all that they can to help fulfill that purpose. The power of a purpose is amazing. All of us here... ...should change our purpose to bring Geo home. Come back home, Geo! Geo! You've done so much! So come back and relax for a while! Geo, we're all waiting for you! <clears throat> Boy. That Coke tasted good, but... God, that crap is thick. Geo. Open your eyes. For crying out loud! How long are you planning on sleeping? Dad? Mega? Everyone back on Earth is waiting for you to come home. This is no time to be taking a nap, son. It looks like the whole world is set the same purpose. And thanks to that, there's a ton of energy being sent from the planet. It's the energy that's formed when purposes are set. There's so much of it this time. I guess you could call it a purpose wave. If Mega and I combine our power, we should be able to get you back to Earth. Wait! What about you and Mega? <clears throat> I'm... definitely coming home. You go back first and tell Hope, I mean your mother, that I'll be home soon. And say hello to your friends for me. Goodbye, kid. Our time on Earth together was short, but it was one heck of a wild ride. Go on, skedaddle! Everyone's waiting for you! You did an amazing job. I'm so proud to be your father. Dad! Mega! So, Kelvin, have you thought of a name for him yet? 
In fact, I have. Let's call him Geo. Teehee! That sounds like a name you would come up with. I want him to be full of love and strength. So I want to name him after this planet, which is unlimited amounts of both. Geo. I like it. Hey there, Geo. I'm your dad. You make me so happy. I can't wait to hold you in my arms. Me too. Thanks, Geo. You've made us the two happiest people in the world. That was... Dad's memory. It must have been released when he was in Meteor G. Thank you for everything, Mom and Dad. I'm the luckiest kid in the world to have you two for parents. <clears throat> Time to fly to Earth. That's Earth. Our home. Come home! Come back, Geo! I can hear everyone. Thank you so much. I'm on my way. Wait. Yeah, that's the wrong... What? <laughs> Wait, why is it going up? Oh, okay. I was about to say. <laughs> what? I don't remember him flying away. It's like, I'm coming to Earth. Fly up out of the screen. <clears throat> Alright, well obviously this isn't the end, end of the game yet, so I'm gonna keep quiet for the credits and, well, be right back.
Okay, and we're back. And just a heads up for you guys with that scene with Ace in the credits, that's actually not a definitive thing of whether he's alive or not. Because basically in the... I forget which, like, official works book for the Mega Man series it was. But the director of the game basically said when someone asked him about that, <clears throat> I don't know, they asked him about that, is Ace really alive? He said it was basically just a, it's like, maybe Ace is still alive, or maybe that's just someone's imagination of what they wish could be true, so. Basically, he left it as a, take it however you want. So, you know, realistically, if they ever make a fourth game, you know, they'll probably do something where you put them back together. But otherwise, I like to think of it as the, he's actually dead part. <clears throat> Anyways, two weeks later. Dad? Mega? I was able to make it home safely thanks to you. I've been having a great time with everyone. And I've decided to live my life to its fullest, even if you're not here. But every once in a while, I get pretty sad. I miss both of you so much. What's with that star? Is it a blue shooting star? <coughs> it's... It's getting closer! Ah! It's coming this way! <laughs> hey, kid! I'm back! M mega Mega! <clears throat> this isn't a dream, right? You're really back? I thought I'd never see you again! <laughs> Did you think that I would kick the bucket so easily? Oh yeah! Someone else should be here any minute now! What? Y you mean... Ah, <coughs> uh, there he is! What? Oh. I was like, what the hell? What? I thought like the... Sorry. I, I thought the volume went out, but it was just my headset. The volume slider went out. You might want to put on your baseball... Yeah. You might want to put your baseball glove on, kid! What? Again? Oh, oh bye, Gio. And done. Mom! Wash your hands, G. Mega? Hope I'm home! There's someone else, too. Sorry I took so long. Kelvin. I'm home, honey. Aw, oh, no run into your arms moment. I'm finally home. Aw, oh, what a happy moment. Then there's Mega. Uh, I, I can't breathe. Look at me. Do you want to save yet? Oh god, now the freaking volume slider went up. 
the joys of having the volume slider right, like basically resting along your chair. So every time I move my arm, it slides on the chair. All right, but that. Mega Man, Star Force Three, Black Ace. Now that's not the end of Star Force Three. We still have basically the post-game content for like another sort of Star Force Two esque story. Now this one's not a you know what if like the villains took over and all that stuff. This is just like you know extra story. So, well, I've actually I've actually gone quite a bit ahead with it so I can get some of the extra cards and stuff. Because, you know, just like Star Force 2, you have to get a bunch of the chips. But thankfully, you don't have to get every chip this time around to finish it. You do need to get all of the standard chips to finish it, but... Basically, it's like, you can get through some of it, and then... I think it's like the second area, you have to have a hundred stand, a hundred of the standard cards, then another gate will be 150 different cards. I'll iterate this stuff later. It's like a hundred standard cards, then 150 different individual cards. This means, you know, 150 cards total. Doesn't mean all the standard cards. It means you can have like so many of standard, so many of mega, and so many of giga. And as long as they add up to 150, you're good. And then the last gate is, you have to have all 150 standard cards. But anyways, that's it for this episode. Basically the main game of Black... I was about to say Black Force. Black Ace. So I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all tomorrow where we start the... Basically, net new stuff. So yeah, I'll see you guys later.